<laughs> there we go. We're good. <laughs> Motion sensor light. All right. What's up, homies? We're doing Colossus Q and A five. Five, yeah, five. yeah, five. So if you guys aren't, make sure you're following us on Instagram on this really smacksy pic of me here. You can see we did a giveaway, so make sure you follow us. And before someone comments it, we do like our own photos on Instagram. If you don't do it, you're missing out. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> yeah, that's man. Like. That's the way to do it. If you don't like your own content, if you're not your first like on your YouTube video, I don't know what you're doing. The first thing we do is smash that like button ourselves, so you guys can back that up by smashing that like button. If you beat us, you're a legend. I don't know how, but let's play that game. So we do this Q&A, let's dive into it. First question is, get 10% off your EHP Labs order using code Colossus10. Oh, thank you, you guys did the work. Oh, wait, that's in our bio. <laughs> but they can still use it. Got it. <laughs> okay, but for real. First question is Ryan Fit. What is your max deadlift squat and bench? My max deadlift to date is 613. It's that specific. My max squat was 545. I think we have the clip, so we'll put that in here. I think we can put in some of these clips, actually. Yeah. If you see them, I don't know. We'll see. And then my top bench, that's a tough one because I think I hit like 335 or 345 with retrieving physique, but it was crap. You know, I bounced. So I really like these good pauses. And the most I think I've done is 330 which I'm really proud of because pausing is a whole new game. I've been pausing all my reps and I find that's really been helping me, especially next time I do a meet, it'll be completely comfortable to me. It's the only way I press. Let's get it. Oh, <laughs> my max deadlift. Uh, I've done 510 in competition, 525 unofficial, put those clips on as well. Squat was 420. I had a lot more in the tank. I should have went higher, but I stopped there. And then bench press is very not impressive, 270, but that's where I'm at so far for my total. A question we got a ton for our last Q&A, which we didn't answer, is 20,000 calorie challenge. You're gonna hear it first, and hopefully this is the last time I have to say it, but we don't have any immediate plans, maybe deep in a bulk, but right now it's not something that interests us. I question, I question how possible it is. I've done 16 with some leeway, but 20 is no joke. Like, that's, that's serious, and at the end of the day, it's just, not worth the amount of pain you feel. Even 10K, you feel a lot. It's really tiring, it's really tough on your system. If you guys haven't seen our 10,000 calorie challenge or our 15,000 calorie challenge, those will be the first two links in the bio and they'll be in the card. So if you haven't watched them, you have no excuse now. But uh, those were crazy, both of them. We've done 10K t three times now. We've done 15K once. And every time I get excited to do it, you think, oh, I'll eat all this food. But by the end of it, you're like, I hate food, this sucks. I Why did I do this? You don't feel good. Why did you guys have to get us to a thousand likes? I hate fries personally, like right now. You feel bloated, you just don't feel right. You kind of always feel sick and you're just waiting to be like, when can I actually force food? That's not a feeling you want. 20K is just so insane. I'm happy I've done 15, I'm keeping it there. Well, I guess you'd have to finish the 10K first. Yeah. <laughs> I friggin' yacked in the 10K grenade. What? That girl? You... Eight. But you did the 15. But I did the 15, so we'll give me. I honestly. I you know what it is? Okay, I'll tell you what it is. Hopefully the audio is okay. But we logged these pancakes, and I think they were so underlogged because I ate them yesterday. 220 for three huge buttermilk pancakes? No. Yeah. I think it's per pancake. Yeah. So I think we did three times. I swear, that's oh, it. Man. That's definitely it because that meal was stupid. Uh, I'm done. I, I wouldn't be able to do it. There's no way. No pancakes. No. What keeps you motivated to keep pushing forward when you're either dealing with some setbacks in life or you've plateaued in your workouts? Would be awesome to hear back from y'all. Um, so I think one of the biggest things you need to realize is that like we're all going to have obstacles getting in our way, things trying to pull you back. And it's those moments that are like extremely tough where you don't feel like going to the gym or something's just really trying to pull you down. Being able to push past that is what really truly grows you. Um, as a person or just like grows you in the gym so you need to be able to really love the process like even if I have a bad day in the gym like although that thing is trying to pull me back like I love the process of, as a whole I love seeing the results so find like you know your why within this whole journey and just being better and you should be able to push past anything. So this is a question very dear to my heart this is something I'm very passionate about social justice is a big mandate for us and 
One thing is, what does it take for someone to be overqualified to be a model asking for a friend? Fun fact, I'm actually overqualified to be a model. And the long story behind that is, when I was out hiking in the north, we're from Canada, so I was just up in the mounties with some buddies, we are playing hockey, saw my boy Tarzan, and he said, wow, you got some looks, man, you should model. And I said, I can, I'm overqualified. And it's just this big back and forth, and then Thor came in, and we had a huge debate about, oh, it's, it's all mess, but that's it. That's the story behind it. Pretty much. Got you, bro. Hey. This is literally the best on a cut. Hooking it up, man. Oh, that's a play. Mm. It's well needed. Question from Gabrielle. When are you guys gonna restock the military green Colossus fit shirt? I don't know, it depends on how high the demand is. We'll put a picture right here. If we get a bunch of comments, maybe we'll fire it up. If we yeah. can get at least 25 comments, 25 we'll, comments. We'll, we'll get the shirts back It's definitely back one in. of my favorite ones. I wear it a lot. Are you guys going to be releasing any new apparel? If you can't tell, I'm very excited. Um, there's still some new Rising Legends stuff right now, but... I don't that, know. That'll be on the screen. Yeah, we'll see what the uh, what the comment section's like. You know what? Let's hit them with it. Make a discount code. 10% off for the shirt. Just for this off. video. Um, we'll title it... Q&A 10. Q&A 10. Q-A-N-D-A-10. How often should you change up your workout to not hit a plateau or get bored of the same routine? This is a question I get often, especially if we get new clients. They'll be like, when are you changing up my routine? It's been three weeks and it's like, let's hold the phone a little bit. Usually what we like to do is kind of have alternates. So the workouts change usually bi-weekly. You'll see the little changes in the routines, rep ranges, and that keeps it fresh. And that keeps it from getting stale. Most generally, we like to switch up routines every three or so months. It really depends what you're doing. But the general rule of thumb is we try to go th every three months. It keeps it nice and simple, four changes a year, and it keeps it fresh. But you also need to learn to master the routine. If you're always switching, you'll never get good at what you're doing to be able to increase the weights, get stronger. So that's something to keep in mind. Glenn Fitness, that eyebrow though. So <laughs> in this photo, my, my eyebrow was just loving it because I think what I was doing is I was trying to pose for this photo while looking in the mirror to see if I look stupid. So the brow just went for it. <laughs> And we got this kind of cool dramatic effect, but you know, it's rocking with it. Hashtag. That's why I'm overqualified. Hashtag man. that browdo. That browdo. There that we go. Thoughts on cheat meals, days, or refeeds on a cut, and how would you go about implementing slash structuring them? So I'm not a believer in cheat meals, days. We have we actually have a full video on this down in the description below. Put a card right here. Us talking about cheat meals versus refeeds. Um, usually the lower body fat percentage you are, the more you'll implement refeeds into your routine. But I highly recommend watching that full video. Tons of knowledge. You guys will learn a lot. But yeah, we're firm believers in refeeds on a cut. Next question. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Excellent question. Let's find out. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You should be more specific next time. Gosh! Man! If my primary goal is fat loss, should I focus more on hit and list cardio with just a couple weight training ses sessions each week? Any tips on dropping body fat? Um, so yeah, hit and list definitely will help. Assuming that you are in a calorie deficit, which means you are burning more than you're eating a day, I think the big focus here should really be on um, your nutrition aspect of things. And on top of that, the weight training certainly, a lot of people don't believe this, but weight training will definitely help you with the fat loss. So number one tip here is focus on the nutrition, eat less than you burn each day. When are you coming to Texas? We'd actually really like to go to Texas. That's something definitely will fire it up. That was asked by Giddy Beats. Yeah, we gotta make that happen, dude. What is your best advice for balancing work, school, working out, nutrition, and being a model? So. These are five good questions. Uh, my advice would be just commit. Don't undersell yourself. Don't say, oh, this is too hard to do this many things. A lot of people say, oh, I can't find time to go to the gym. For me, it's about finding that dedicated one hour to go. So in high school, for instance, I'd go every day after school because I knew I could get that done. Then I'd work the rest of the night and then I'd calculate all my nutrition when I got home for the next day. And that's what really balanced all that. And I still was able to have a lot of fun and fun friendships during school or after the gym on those days. So you need to find that dedicated time. Even if you're someone that can't make to the gym, just set aside one hour. If you work a corporate job, 
and you work nine to five, maybe it's good to go to the gym seven to eight, eat your breakfast afterwards, or commute to work, and you'll feel refreshed, and it's something you can do every single day. Waking up early might not be the easy thing, but if you wanna get these things done, you just gotta do them, and it really comes down to something as simple as that. You just gotta do it. There's no secret answer. At the end of the day, no one's gonna do it for you. You just gotta commit and get her done. Next question, if you could only have one, which would it be? Bro, are you on a friggin' diet drink overload? Don't tell. What's going on, buddy? Salas and shawarma. <laughs> and drinking water, guys. 10% off. <laughs> BHP Labs. Code Colossus 10. Bro, people are gonna think we're addicted to diet. Today's a special day, okay? It's, it's a Q&A. &A. All right, um, my bad. Salas or shawarma. I mean, Salas is solid, but I'd have to say shawarma 100%. I've been having it every day. We get the hookup, and it's just like... So girthy, so high in volume. It takes up like half my macros, but it tastes amazing. That foreign dough. That foreign? <laughs> yeah, bro, that foreign shawarma, you oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> it's Middle Eastern, man. You guys have to try it out. It's so good. Um, saying Cerberus, is sleep crucial to muscle growth? This is a great question. I would say in some regards, uh, once again, I, I could definitely research this more, but my opinion is that your body repairs itself during sleep, but at the end of the day, everyone can kind of succeed with different levels of sleep. Saying so, if you're like, hey, I only get four hours sleep every day and I'm doing fine, what you need to ask yourself is, try sleeping seven, eight hours every night in a proper like mesocycle of sleep, so those hour and a half periods where you're getting that deep sleep, and see how you feel by the end of the week. You'd be amazed, like even me, when I'm nailing eight hours steady, like I have no bags here, I just feel, I pop out of bed, you feel alive, you feel tired at the end of the day. So although it might not actually help you gain muscle, what it will do is it'll help you be motivated to gain muscle and do the things you need to do, i.e. having more sleep, maybe you'll have that extra strand of willpower to say no to that donut that's gonna make you go over your calories and sabotage yourself. It can really just kinda, it's a fine-tuned tip and sleep is one of the most pivotal and important factors to success as a human being. So I really recommend not playing around with sleep. I've always taken sleep very seriously and I find that's really helped me kind of push myself farther and further than if I was slacking and really throwing myself up. Plus, if you're falling asleep all day, you're not gonna be doing too well. <laughs> so we'll end it with this last question from Natalie. How does it feel to be looked up to and be someone else's motivation? I don't know, we're just here to help motivate you guys and provide as much information. Like, it feels amazing that you know you guys look up to us and we're super honored that all of you follow our YouTube, our Instagram, our Snapchat, and everything like that. But there are so many questions, got so many questions, guys, sorry. Um, so if we get 500 likes, we will do around six, I guess. Um, please make sure to smash that like button. As always, thank you guys for watching our videos. More good content coming soon, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.